So in this video, we are going to draw this pencil holder on on shape, and we're going to draw it on isometric. So enter on shape, go create document. I'm going to call this. And so holder. Create. We're going to go up here to sketch, asking us which plane. We're going to draw it on the front plane. And we're going to look straight in at the front. And we're going to pick a line. And we're just going to roughly sketch out the shape. If we go to our drawing now, we'll see that the base is 45. So hit D on your keyboard and make this here 45. Then the front is 65. So click on this, type in 65, and the top then is 30. Now, we can see that the piece has a thickness of three. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna find offset, or you can hit O, on your keyboard and we're going to offset this so we're going to give it a thickness of now it automatically gives us a thickness of five but we want to give ours a thickness of three so there now is our shape now we haven't enclosed the shape yet so we're going to hit l on our keyboard to get a line and we're going to create a line between those two points and a line between those two points and you can see it's gone gray now so now we've got a shape that we can work with we're going to hit extrude next and the thickness of the piece is 80 wide. So we're going to make this here 80. And we're going to green tick that there. And we're going to just look perfect. Next, it's got these little fillets on it. And those are radius 5. So if we go up here, find fillet. And we're going to write in there in the corner. We're going to pick those corners. And the way I'm zooming in and out is the wheel in the middle of the mouse. And they're already automatically set to five millimeters, so that's perfect for us. And we're going to green tick that. Next, we're going to draw these three circles up here. So again, we're going to sketch. And it's asking us here, where do we want to sketch? And we want to sketch here at the top. So if we click top, we're looking now straight down at it. And we're going to click circle or C on our keyboard. Now, one of the first, so I had escape now to get rid of that there, and we're going to click each of these circles, and we're going to make them equal. So if we go up here, we can see equal, or if we just hit E on our keyboard, they're straight away, they're equal. Next, we're going to make them vertical. So we're going to click the center of the three circles. Again, we can hit here, vertical, or we can hit V on our keyboard. So now, once we dimension one of them, they're all going to be the same, and they're always going to be vertical. So what we'll do is hit D on our keyboard, and we're just going to dimension one of them. And the size of the holes here are dement the diameter 10. So click 10. Now they're all 10. Now they're equally spaced here. So there's one, two, three, four equal spaces. Four into 80 will give us 20. So between this line and this center, we're going to make 20 between this line and this or this center and this center. We're going to make 20. And then between this center and this center, we're going to make 20 as well. So now we've got our three lines equally spaced and they're in 15 from the edge. So if we click this edge and click the center here, we'll make that 15. So now they're all perpendicular to each other. They're all the same size and they're all equally spaced out at 20 millimeters. So finally, we're going to go to uh, extrude. We're going to remove this time. So we're not going to add on. So if we go over here to add, you'll see it's going to come sticking out. If we click remove, it's going to actually take those holes out of it. So we're going to green tick that there. And that now is our pencil holder completed.